I think it speaks to their competitive spirit, and it also speaks their w to their willingness to be coached, to be coachable, because um, we operate in reality in our program. So when we fall short of something, I, I just tell them. I tell them it. I don't sugarcoat it. I'm not mean about it, but I say, hey, we're not good enough in this part of the game yet. And they're nodding their head because that's what the conversations are. And early in the year, we would talk about, like, we, we weren't good enough or we weren't ready enough or whatever it was to be able to um, win these types of games. And we had so many games that we lost like this. And we would be honest with ourselves about it. Because I think when you experience failure, you have two options. You can either tell yourself the truth or you can lie to yourself. And what happens when people fail, they'll lie to themselves and they won't address the issue that's actually causing the failure. We don't want to do that in our program. We want to address the issue that's causing it. We want to tell the truth to ourselves and say, hey, we fell short here. Here's, here's where we need to be better. And then my job as a coach is to show them and teach them how to get better, not just say we're not good enough. My job is to help them see and help them grow in those areas. And so this is why you coach, man. I mean, to see that growth and now on a, on a bright stage to be able to see them overcome something that we struggled with during the year, it just, it, it's really, really satisfying.